Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to set up the HD camera on your PlayStation 5 so you can live stream, record video, and everything else. So let's go ahead and jump in the video right now. So this is the HD camera on your PlayStation 5. It's capable of displaying 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now the setup is very easy. This is my PlayStation 5 and this year's edition of the PlayStation camera actually is USB. Now it doesn't work on your computer or the PlayStation 4. I've already tried that. Now at some point in time I'm sure someone will figure out a way to kind of mod it so it works on the computer. But if you look at your PlayStation 5 there is a front USB slot However, although this can fit in there, the camera won't work with it. You actually need to plug this into the back USB slots. So let's turn my PlayStation around and plug it in. So on the rear of the PlayStation 5, there is two USB slots. Let's plug the camera into one of those right now. So boom, it is now plugged in. So now let's go ahead and actually set up the camera and position it on my monitor so when I'm streaming, I'm right in the center of the picture. So here is a close-up of the camera. Now if I turn to the side, you will see there is a little like ledger right here that we're going to want to put the edge of our monitor on. And this will kind of grip it and prevent the camera from falling off. So find this ledge right here. You can kind of see it better when I turn it like this and put it on the edge of your monitor. Now you may want to position your camera on your monitor and just have it sit like this. However, it's gonna be taken up your screen. And that's where the ledge is very important. Locate it and put it on the edge here, just like this, and grip it so it doesn't fall back. You can see a little bit of the camera is actually in front of the monitor right here. Then position it with the back. This entire thing goes up and down. So position it so it doesn't fall off. Also, you can rotate the camera horizontally, just like this, if you want a better angle. Okay, so now that I have the camera set up the way I want, let's go to the PlayStation 5 and adjust the settings. Now on the home screen of the PlayStation 5, let's go to the top and then go over to settings. Then scroll down under this list until we get to accessories. So here it is, let's select X on this. Then go down to camera. Then go to adjust HD camera and select this. Now adjust the HD camera so the position can be correctly recognized. On the next screen, three pictures will be taken. Position yourself so that the face fits in the frame. After the pictures are taken, adjustments of the camera will begin. So let's press OK. Now put your face in the box. So let's go over here. All right. Then go to next. Then go to the middle picture. And then go to the right picture. Boom. Now the adjustments are taking place. Back out of this screen and go to the main setting menu. And then scroll down to captures and broadcast. Then go down to broadcast and go over to camera. Now we have a bunch of different options in here as well. As you can see, I'm perfectly positioned in the middle of the screen. And you can refocus your face at any time. Now there's three different sizes for the camera when you're broadcasting. You have small, medium, and large. I usually keep it at medium. Then you have clip mask. You can cut out the circle. Square. X. Auto key. And it'll kind of cut everything out. I've used this before. It kind of works okay. If you don't have a green screen and you don't want everything to show up in the background, this will kind of get the job done. Then you have your chroma key, which if you have a green screen or like a blue screen in the background, this will cut everything out perfectly so you don't see everything. Let's go to none. Then you have the option to flip it horizontally. Boom. Then here's all the different effects. Then you have some adjustments to the brightness in case your room is very dark. Contrast to get it looking a little bit better. 
And then transparency is the final option. See you later, guys. Bye. So hopefully this video did indeed help you guys out. If it did, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more PlayStation 5 camera tech out videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.